I've been told that uh, Captain Underpants isn't a uh, real piece of literature and that, you know, people don't respect it as much as regular books, but I gotta be honest, it has everything, if not more, than regular books. And the thing about Captain Underpants is it was revolutionary to kids. Now, all these uh, kids writers are trying to sugarcoat um, life and just keep them sheltered. And what Dave Pilkey does is he taps into his inner child and, rem you know, looks back at the times that he would, uh, you know, write in second grade in class and get yelled at for writing cartoons. And he just n understands what kids are thinking. And this is partly due to his ADHD. That's what's on the word cloud right now. Um, ADHD was an impactful thing for Dave Pilkey. It's actually how Captain Underpants was created, like I said, in the classroom while he was just doodling. Now, he, you know, wrote it in about 91. And uh, he just remembered that time whenever he was doodling and drew uh, his teacher uh, with underpants and a cape. Now, his teacher actually was mean, just like professor in the um, books. And, you know, it's kind of like a good versus evil thing right here. And how he thought of himself as the good guy while um, his professor was just trying to, you know, kill everything that he did, try to make him look bad and just overall terrorize his childhood. Um, you know, teachers all impact our lives differently, whether it be through good or bad ways. I like to say there is no such thing as bad experience because experience in itself is good experience. Now, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but to me it does. <laughs> Um, and whenever I recently read the Captain Underpants books, because I used to read them as a kid all the time, I recently read them, and I thought to myself, wow, this is a careful criticization, critis criticism of, uh, public school, of the problems of public school. In public schools, I, I know I don't go to one, and you're going to say, well, how do you know? I've been to public schools. And uh, this is exactly them criticizing public schools, telling them how not to be creative and not to be humorous and just, you know, answer when talked to, answer when called on, and don't think outside the box. And this is basically what Dave Pilkey is trying to imagine his people that he's you know, writing these things to, which is children, to not just think inside the box and, you know, be creative. And uh, he really does a great job at that. Now, in the book, there's many times where they use certain types of humor that, you know, like they say darn, which was a bad word when I was a kid. And they call people Professor Poopyhead or, you know, all these random funny uh names well not funny anymore they used to be really funny but this is also like i said to reach out to the kids and uh he really knows what they like in a book he, he knows how to get kids interested in books now i think without dave pilkey i would never have gotten into reading i mean i love reading books now but when I was a kid, I hated reading. It was the, my least favorite thing ever. And it was graphic novels like these that got me into comic books and got me into, you know, everything I'm into now. And I have a lot of that to thank to Dave Pilkey. And you can see that in my weekly blogs, also on the website. Uh, and, you know, this has just been an overall, not really criticism, but analysis of what Dave Pilkey tries to do. I know it's kind of hard to go in depth with Captain Underpants, it is kind of still a children's book, but uh, 
you know, there's going to be two more of these uh, podcasts uh, initiated into the website by around June. So just uh, keep track with them, uh, keep up to them. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments section on the website. Um, that's about it. Thank you very much.